Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep condensed magic, combos, abilities, and summons all into a single mechanic called commands. And it got me thinking, is it possible to finish every single story without ever equipping a single command? And so I embarked on this journey. Will it be mindlessly mashing the attack button? Or an intense challenge filled with agony and despair? I decided to start with Ven, because I think this would be the easiest of the three. If that bothers anyone because it's not in the correct order, then I apologize. I just like to be unique. Alright, so here we go. We have no commands in our command deck. Absolutely no commands. I'm allowed to use movement and shot locks. However, I'm never allowed to equip anything to my command deck, even for level grinding or for command emoting. This menu has to stay empty no matter what. With that being said, the first world was pretty easy with shot locks. Nice. First world is no problem. Now is a good time to mention I'm playing on beginner mode. But wait, each difficulty has its own requirement for unlocking the secret episode, and beginner mode requires you to 100% the entire story. This is definitely not possible with this challenge. However, just finishing the final story on Critical unlocks the secret episode. And because the final story is played as Aqua, does this mean the difficulty requirement only applies to Aqua? Best case scenario, I only have to play on Critical Mode for Aqua. Worst case scenario, I have to play every story on Critical Mode, and I would have wasted all my time playing on Beginner. I couldn't find a straight answer on how this worked anywhere, so I had to blindly continue all the way to the end, hoping that the secret episode would unlock. Moving on, I'll be showing off some fun exploits in this run. So there is a trick you can do here, where if you fall and then attack, you get launched up. If you keep pausing and unpausing, you don't fall, so you can just float anywhere you want to in the entire game. I think we're above it now. Oh shit. This yarn ball basically one-shots unversed, which would make it a great way to level grind if you got experience from it. At this point, I started to get really concerned about level grinding. It takes forever to kill these unversed, and they don't give much experience. So instead of grinding, I decided to fight Garfield at level 2. Oh shit. It doesn't do that much damage though. Maybe because I got the level up. Oh! Okay. What is this? Wait, I've never done this before. Wait, what? I didn't know it was in the game. They don't tell you when they're gonna attack. Okay, we've done like half of his health. I'm gonna wait for him to jump again. Oh wait, what is this shit? Wait, he just he just knocked in he just got stuns. What was that? Okay. Triangle? Circle? Circle? What is this? Oh my god! That was so powerful. What? This might kill him actually. Close. There we go. Alright, we didn't die. Now this is when being level 2 caught up to me. And trust me, it's gonna get a lot worse. I bit the bullet and grinded a bit on the way to Maleficent. Grinding to level 7. Another strength increase! Thankfully, each strength up level actually makes a big difference in damage. The only problem is, they can get pretty spread out. And magic level ups literally do nothing for us. Because for some reason, all shellock damage is strength based. Luckily, Flame Salvo is one of the best shot locks in the game, and Ven starts with it, making Maleficent very winnable. Oh wait, this is actually really good. Look at this. Yo, wait a sec. We're gonna like two-shot her. Oh no! Wait, is so she gonna DM again? Oh fuck. Wait, I might die. Okay, we got it. For Vinius, I just lost some health to progress, and then I just had to slowly spam combos until he died. Here I got to level 10 and picked up Counter Rush. Trinity Armor actually dealt some damage to me, and keep in mind, the only possible way I can heal at this point is by picking up health orbs, which thankfully it does drop. Otherwise, the fight wasn't too bad. I did some more grinding and also learned something that I somehow didn't know even after platting the game. Oh, wait a second. Wait! Wait, I just learned something. Hang on a second. You're supposed to hit the back of them. Oh! If you hit the back where the valve is, then they won't blow up. I was really hoping it wasn't going to be that. What are you talking about? You didn't know that either. I think you just learned that too, right? This entire run was streamed Nobody on Twitch, that so check out the channel fair. if you want to watch these live. After conquering the most dreaded and difficult part of the entire run, I ended up in Olympus. This world wasn't a problem. It's just the Barrows minigame and some slow unversed fights. Immediately upon landing in deep space, I started doing genuine chip damage. Yeah. Oh no, we do no damage to these guys. Wait, maybe this does more damage. Surely, right? Oh, A big reason for this, however, is because I forgot to equip Mark of the Hero. It took a ridiculously long time to beat this fight because I was literally doing one damage per hit. Oh, Mark of the Hero has plus two strength. Oh my god, man. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, we're fine now. I forgot to mention we need the Xeno reports. 
Thankfully, these are pretty easy to grab, except for Terra, in which I need to visit Mirage Arena and somehow get through it commandless. This boss is a little bit scary because he damages the core, and you have to beat him before he destroys the core. So we actually have like a time limit on this. Yeah, see he does this. That's not good. I'm doing a lot of damage though, like a lot. There we go. At this point, I decided to take a detour and level grind in Radiant Garden. For some reason, the next strength up after level 20 is at level 23. So it took me a while to make any progress on levels. After level grinding, I was doing acceptable damage in Neverlands. Hook was actually a bit of a challenge though. Let's see how hard this fight is. I think he has a lot more HP. Yeah, he has three bars. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the fuck? I don't want to reversal that. Okay, let me try Flame Sabo. What? What do you mean he's guarding it? How is he guarding it? If I'm not careful, I can actually die here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What's he doing? There we go. But if I die during the cutscenes, then I probably die in real life. After grabbing the Xehanort report in Keyblade Graveyard, I used a trick here to skip these tornadoes. The tornadoes only target Ven one at a time, meaning if we get very close to another tornado, the first tornado will stop chasing us, and because it takes a while for it to gain traction, we can avoid all of them. This run actually isn't commandless, because I command you to hit the sub button if you're enjoying the video. And now comes the final boss of Ven's story. Alright, Venus might be somewhat tough. I'm gonna shot lock. Oh my fuck. That's not fair. I can't heal, so I might, I'm gonna die here. Okay, we do at least some damage to him. Wait. Oh, I don't want reversal. Okay, that actually was pretty nice. Oh, fuck you. What? What? I'm dead. Oh, reversal is so bad. Why do I have it on? Okay. <laughs> that was my first death of the entire run. But now that I removed reversal, it should be fine. The problem with reversal is that I kept trying to guard after reversaling, and it wouldn't let me do it. What do you mean? Oh shit. What the fuck? That does a lot of damage. Wait. Yes! Alright, that was the first fight. Now we got final Vanius. Shit. I'm trying to guard it, man. I don't know how to fight this guy. This is working. <laughs> Wait. Guard it. <laughs> guard it. Hit him. Okay. If you hit it, it interrupts it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. This might be really bad. I am pretty much one hit. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't guard that. Oh, I couldn't guard that either. Dude. Oh, he's doing like a combo. What is this shit, man? Hit him. Hit him. No, 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 no. Hit him. I'm so close. Okay, here we go. I think this is it. All you have to do in the last phase is uh, shot lock him. Yeah, just spam this over and over again and eventually the bar will fill up. Wait. Okay. I fucked up. I can't use the commands. Okay. Here we go. This should beat him. Yes. We did it. He beat Ben's story. The harder one will be Terra, and then the hardest one will be Aqua because Aqua will be on critical mode. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> most used command style, zero. Most used D-Link, zero. I bet no one has seen that before. The game counts shot locks as commands for some reason, but moving on. Next up is Terra's story. Terra's story was really easy at first because he's a very strength-focused character. There we go. The first three worlds were a breeze. Okay. What the? <laughs> Did you see that? So we got Brig here. Okay, deflecting the bullets is a lot of damage. This thing I can't really dodge. What the hell? There we go. If you get sub two minutes, it gives you the ultimate weapon. After getting the world record in Mario Kart, I moved on to Olympus. Here, I need to get through 10 rounds of the Colosseum and each round has a timer, making this a little scary without commands. Oh shit. This might not be, oh shit. Okay, please. Okay, oh my God, dude, that was really close. Hang on. All right, that was great. Okay, that helped a lot. One more, one more rounds, one more rounds. Wait, these are actually kidding me, what the hell? Wait, hang on. Oh wait, what? That got rid of everything. Zack was a pretty tough fight without healing. Dude, that thing I can't guard. Wait, I guess I'll do this. 
All right, that works. Okay, I'm gonna dodge this with the shot lock. What the fuck is that? What, since when did he have that attack? Oh, wait. Okay, I'm dead here. Okay, I gotta figure out what, how to fight this guy. Wait. Wait, you can dodge some of it. I'm just smashing square. I'm dodging it. Try this. That is a lot. Don't. Okay. I can get him with the shot lock now. It's fine. Moving on to deep space, I once again forgot to equip Mark of the Hero. Okay, so we got a bit of Keyblade forgot to equip again. Before continuing, I went on a quest to find Flame Salvo, because it's much better than the Shotlock I started with. What? Why did he fall down? Okay. Oh, level 4 Counter Hammer. I decided to level grind here because these jellyfish are extremely good for experience. Okay, we're fine. They're outplaying you like crazy? Okay, so we got the boss here. Oh, he's doing like no damage to me. Okay, we can't guard that. You can't guard it, stop. Okay, cool. My damage was insane at this point, and I found a really silly level exploit here. These things are super easy to kill and give a ton of EXP. And if you die, you can hit retry, and the game lets you keep the EXP you got before dying. So you can just keep dying over and over, grinding a ton of experience in a really short period of time. I was pretty happy with my level though, so I didn't exploit it too much and headed off to Erica's. All right, so here is a fight that may actually be genuinely pretty hard. But look at that damage. Also, this is the only part of the entire game that will have a form change because the game automatically gives you a form change. Okay. This is not hard. Except that you get comboed like this. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, he does a lot of damage, by the way. Okay, if I got comboed again, I would have died probably. Uh, but we got Chaos Ripper. It adds plus five strength. <laughs> plus five, dude. That's so strong. Now all I have left is the final boss of Terra Story. But wait, I still haven't gotten the Xeno report from Mirage Arena. In order to get the report from the Sinister Sentinel mission, I need to build up a bunch of medals through playing Mario Kart, buy the Sinister Sentinel ticket, and use it to have one try at the mission. I could also just unlock it naturally from doing other arena missions, but that probably isn't worth it when I'm commandless. So we have to use our one ticket here, and this is my only chance. So I'm gonna give it my best shot. Okay, I thought I'd be doing more damage. My damage is actually kind of bad. Even with Chaos Ripper, the damage isn't that good. Just don't get hit too much before the boss. Oh yeah, my health, I can't heal. I got hit a few times. These guys don't even drop HP orbs. Oh wait, they do give you health orbs. Okay, I didn't know that. That guy did so much damage to me. I wanna cry, man. I'm getting hit too much. Oh my god! Dude, I guarded! This might be GG, man. I need to do the boss without taking damage, pretty much. Like, if they're doing this much damage, imagine the boss. Just don't take damage? Okay, man. Oh! What?! Him blowing up activate made the other guy blow up. At least we can learn, adapt, and overcome. Wait, it's not even over yet? Oh my god! How many rounds are there? I didn't even look. This is a lot harder than I thought. Hang on, this is like genuinely hard. Good thing this is the last round for sure. I've seen Nintendo get through worse odds. Uh, maybe. This will be edited out for YouTube. What? What? I was stun locked. All right, it's fine. But I forgot to mention one thing. I can just reload my save. So we can redo it now. All right, dude, no one said you can cheat. Call him out, man, Adam. This ended up being too difficult, so I left to level grind on the fun guys. Yeah, I guess they look like mushrooms to me, but they're not. They look kind of like fun guys to hang out with. They don't, though. <laughs> Oh, here it is, yeah. There's one here. It gives 100! No way! Like, it's actually crazy how good the CXP is. Okay, how much better is this? Okay, the nice thing is that he's doing a lot less damage to me. I did take some- this might- I'm still gonna lose, I think. If I don't take any more damage, then I might be fine. I- if I don't take any more damage now, I might be fine. No! It did so much damage, what do you mean? Oh, okay, we made it to the boss. Alright, I have to beat the boss without taking a hit. I think- I think I got one shot by, like, everything. But he is not, he's like level one sentinel. Wait, no, he's level two. Iron and prisoner two. Um, please dodge. Oh shit, dodge, 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 please. Okay, I have to avoid that. I can maybe win. What do I do? Is he ever open for attacks? Oh my fucking God, man. Oh my God. Oh, wait, wait, this might kill him. Wait. Yes! I can't believe we did it. We did it. That was like hard, even at level 29. The reason we did it was to get the report. 
Now we have all the reports that we need for Terra and Ven. All of that for a piece of paper. And finally, we make it to the end of Terra's story. Let's see if I can do it. This should be really good damage. The Shalock. Oh, I almost killed him with the Shalock. Nice. Okay, we got that one down. Yeah, so our damage is good because we have Chaos Creeper still. But once I get the other Keyblade on the Terranor fight, that's when things will get really bad. This melts. Like, it absolutely sh shreds. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, he didn't do that much damage. Thankfully, I actually do know how to fight this guy. Like, I, I know his patterns a bit. That's a lot of damage. Okay, finish your iframes. Okay, there's a heal. Okay. Wait, the Shalak will kill him, won't it? He healed again. Okay, now I dodge this. That hurts. There we go. GG. <laughs> the Sinister Sentinel fight was much harder. So we're doing Aqua Crit because we need to play on critical mode with Aqua to unlock the final and secret story. Wait, stop. <laughs> Why are you laughing, dude? My game crashed. Fuck, man. Okay, so for real this time, Aqua Crit, here we are. Okay, my damage is already like so awful. Yeah, this is gonna be much harder than I thought. Critical mode deals 33% less damage, enemies give 25% less EXP, and you take four times the damage. But regardless, I decided to try the first boss at level one. Okay, he doesn't have that much health, to be honest. Like that's an upside. <gasps> oh! I gotta be more careful this time. We do start off with Shotlock here. Yeah, yeah, wait, look at that. You see that counterattack? Okay, see, we're already at a- he's, he only has a bar left. Wait, he's summoned the enemies. What? No one said he could do that. It doesn't give you EXP. Countering is actually really good, though. I think it's winnable, actually. Wait, he's just spamming this now. Stop. This is really good, because I can attack him during this. No! I'm sad. Sir? <laughs> okay, here we go. He's so close. Oh! Okay, it's winnable, even with chip damage. After beating the first world, I learned something extremely useful. If you put on EXP 0, you get buffs to make the game easier at level 1. And this works even if you're not level 1. I have just learned. I've always not been sure about it. But I believe it does. I'm not doing- I'm doing like double the damage, which is like fine, but it's not like a lot. At this point, I spent 10 minutes climbing this platform for literally no reason. Round two. Oh my god, we made it, guys. Wait, I thought that was Flame Salvo. <laughs> Where's Flame Salvo? Why did they move it? It was there for Terra. This boss is very tough on crit. I basically need to beat him without taking any hits. We're gonna fight this magic mirror and we're gonna win. Oh no. Okay, my damage isn't that bad with level 1. Uh, with no EXP on. Yeah, like, I can- I can potentially beat him. We just have to no damage it, because he'll kill me in, like, one hit. It's gonna guard here. Okay. That sucks. I don't know what he's doing, man. I've, like, never seen this attack. Stop! That was scary as hell. <laughs> he's almost dead. I think I need to get, like, two more- two more openings. What's he doing? Okay. Get him! Okay, wait, wait. Oh my god. Level 1, magic mirror, no commands. My current shot lock is horrible, so I thought about buying Flame Salvo from Mirage Arena. The problem is, I need to hit level 5 Mirage Arena to buy Flame Salvo, and that would take a very long time. I tried level grinding instead, but then I learned that Aqua doesn't get more strength until level 5, so I just cut my losses and decided to try Enchanted Dominion at level 1. Okay, the issue here is that I can't kill the guys up there. Normally I can- I kill them with Magnet up top, but that is not an option. Yeah, okay. But wait, just when all hope was lost, I remember the one saving grace I have in this playthrough. For those of you who didn't know, Command Board allows you to level up commands without having ever equipped them. So you can level up commands here without equipping commands. The other thing that it does is that it gives you Ragnarok because the first board here has Ragnarok. With the Keyblade uh, Glider, we can go straight to Ragnarok here. Okay, can somebody tell me what the fuck just happens? I thought you could buy it after you- wait, can I not afford it? Leveling commands here really comes in handy because once I level them up, I can mode them and get abilities like once more in second chance. For now though, I just grabbed Ragnarok and tried again. Let's see. 
Oh, okay. That is really, really strong. Like, super strong. I think we can do it now. Don't fucking kill me! <gasps> that could have killed me, dude. Oh shit, he's dead. What the hell? He's fucking dead, man. Wait, that's all of them. No way. Holy shit, that actually wasn't that hard. We did it, guys. And now comes Maleficent. My strategy was just to stand behind her and attack, because she can't really fight back here. The hitboxes in this game are pretty weird though, so I would just randomly get hit, and the fight was very time consuming. Dude, she's- it, Oh my god, I can maybe kill her right here. Oh my god! I think I got her. Yes! That was the hardest fight we've done so far. The damage I do in Radiant Garden should be illegal. Wait! Are you insane? Okay, I killed one. <laughs> um... They give me 70 XP. What? If you ever thought you knew chip damage, this is chip damage. Okay, leveling here is not an idea. It's not a good idea. Mickey helps out on the first required fight here, and this made it so much more doable. Oh my fucking god, man! <laughs> that didn't happen. Okay. Trinity Armor also has party members, and they help out immensely. Although just surviving was very difficult. Okay, that's crazy. How much damage you do? Oh, they're dead. They're fucking dead, man. Oh, they're way too fast. Are you fucking kidding me? He was so fast. That was absurd. Man, Ragnarok is not good anymore. If it was maybe max level, it would be better. Oh, what? I didn't even know he did that. Dude. Okay. Okay, wait. One of them is dead. One of them is dead. Oh, this guy's almost dead too. Wait. Wait. Everyone chill. Oh my god. Okay. If I stand right here, he can't hurt me here? Um, fuck. I don't... I don't think guarding here is a good play. I think you have to dodge. They're doing so much damage. Oh, Terra's dead. I wish I could. I wish I could heal him. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> I can't believe we did it, man. When it comes to Vinius, I'm out of luck, and this is when things get nearly impossible. Not only do I literally do one damage to Vinius, but he also randomly teleports, and I don't really have any safe options of attacking him. This felt borderline impossible without leveling up. At first I tried level grinding in Radiant Garden in this corner with Ragnarok, but it was incredibly inefficient. I realized another way I could be grinding, one that wouldn't require me to fight anything at all. The ability EXP Walker. In order to get EXP Walker, I needed to buy a Blizzard and Arrow from a Moogle, level up the commands in Command Board, meld the commands with the Bounding Crystal, should make EXP Walker. That is genuinely huge. Play Command Board again to level up Blizzara, and then pray that this will result in me learning EXP Walker permanently. I actually had no idea if it was possible to learn an ability without equipping the command at all. And this entire process took forever. Now the question is, will I have EXP Walker as an ability now? Yes, I will. We have EXP Walker now. We've never equipped a single command the whole game and we were able to get EXP Walker via command board. Oh my god, let's go. Alright, level 15. I'm triple my level. Let's see if this will make a difference. Oh my god, we do so much more damage. Oh my god, we're doing damage. I'm also taking a lot less damage. Dude, it took like two hours of command board and level grinding. This should get him. Yes, okay. Oh my god, we finally beat Vanius. We had to fight him again, actually, in Neverland. After playing the best minigame in Kingdom Hearts history, I headed to Olympus. Aqua has to do 10 rounds of timed fights just like Terra did, but this time I'm doing it on critical mode. Also, I have Gold Rush now. It's definitely not as good as my other finisher. Oh no! That's not good. Can you fucking hit something? I am mad. Only the magic increase mattered. Okay, we won, it's fine. Wait! Oh, I lost this one. Yeah. <laughs> like, that one had like 10 seconds, hello? Honestly, this seems kind of ridiculous. This, like, okay. That is fine. Because I'll get my shot lock back from this guy, my focus. Are you fucking man? Oh no, this guy's really bad. I need to kill him first. As long as I get my focus back. Okay, I have no focus going into the last one. Okay. There we go. Okay, we did it. Alright. Zachary wasn't too difficult with Ragnarok. Okay. <laughs> but then came Hades and Ice Titan. Oh, he froze him! Okay, I'm doing a lot of damage. Oh wow, Hades isn't even bothering me. Alright, <laughs> there we go. Alright, that was fun. Hades has a bit more hoe, and he's DMing right now. The DM is bad. What? He's doing it again. No! Oh my god, he's doing it again! <laughs> Are you kidding me? No! Hang on, I don't want to die here. Oh! I think he keeps DMing because he DMs after, after you do a certain amount of hits. Oh my god, how am I alive? 
Again? Okay, never mind. He's just done. <laughs> He's doing it again. Jesus, man. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yo, that works. Wait. Look at that. Oh, shit. It's working. Wait, is he loop? He's getting looped. Yo, he got looped right there. And this is where I should mention that I forgot to equip Mark of the Hero for the third time. Three for three? <laughs> Shut up, dude. What are you doing here? Overall, Deep Space wasn't hard with Stitch's help. Oh, he got stuns. Nice. Here is our second Vanius fight. The first one was like near impossible. This one, I'm doing pretty bad damage still. Yeah, this isn't good. I don't think this is going to be feasible. I mean, I do have my shot lock. Oh, wait, the shot lock's actually really good. Okay, as long as I get focus back, play it safe with my hits. I can only take a few hits too, but you get focus back really fast, which is helping a lot with this run. It's actually crazy how fast you get focus in this game. Dude. Okay. No. I couldn't do anything about that. Okay. Nice. Alright. All I have left now is the final boss for Aqua and the final and secret story. Of which I still don't know if they will unlock once I finish the game. I grabbed Prism Rain, which is slightly better than Ragnarok, and Counter Blast. Finally got Counter Blast after not having it for the whole game because I just forgot. Then I spent a very long time leveling commands with Command Board to get myself once more Second Chance, Renewal Barrier, Kill Strike, Fire Wheel, and EXP Chance. Yeah, I have everything I want now. And we also have level 5 Prism Rain. EXP Chance doubles your experience while critical HP, and this also applies to EXP Walker. I also learned something cool about Fire Wheel. Oh my god! Fire Wheel gives you Firestorm! We can enter- Oh my god! We can enter fucking- What? <laughs> this is crazy. Dude, we're entering form styles without any commands whatsoever. Wait, this is crazy. Hang on, this is actually like a hack. I can't believe this is happening. One thing I'm worried about is that because I forged a uh, fire wheel, I don't have a level 4 cartwheel anymore. So I don't have that many iframes with cartwheel. After obtaining all this and level grinding to level 34, I was ready to take on the final bosses. I think I would, like, destroy everything. I think Prison Rain would destroy everything, yeah. See, even my- oh my god. My strength is really good. Turns out, if you're level 30 on critical mode, you're really strong. Ow. Okay, I still take a lot of damage, though. Holy fuck, dude. Okay. It's a good thing that we have second chance and once more. Let me try Fire Wheel on this guy. Okay. I think Fire Wheel is a bad idea. Yo, wait! Mickey's doing a lot of damage. Really? Look at that. Yeah, see, with regular cartwheel, I would have been fine there. But I wasn't fine because I have fire wheel. Oh shit. This might kill me. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Holy shit, the damage. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Wait, what did I die? What was that? We beat Aqua Story. In about 10 hours, we have beaten all three stories. And I think I got the Xehanort reports, didn't I? And here is where the final story is supposed to unlock. Oh shit! Hang on. Did I not unlock it? Um, hang on a second. Did I forget report? I did. <laughs> okay, there's a report. Oh, there it is. But we're gonna see how hard the final episode is now. Oh my god, the Keyblade fucking sucks. <laughs> no, all, all that matters to me is strength, so it's not good. Here I get to show off a funny exploit on this boss. Wait, here we go. Okay, you can loop this fight by holding forward and mashing cart fire wheel, and it'll never break out. You just kill him this way. <laughs> now, I don't need this because I have uh, Prism Rain, but if you're doing level 1 or something, you can do this, I guess. But you have to do it when he does the long black magic thing. It doesn't work otherwise. Shooting a good game, some say? Dude, it's a wonderful game. Oh, fuck off. I forgot he does that. Here we go. We got healed. There we go. <laughs> it's just funny how he dodges that way. It's so dumb, <laughs> he just dodges it. He's not even doing anything else. He's only doing this. I might die. Why is he not doing anything else? I right, got him. Okay, that was the final story. It was very easy, because that was a high level. But now is the part that I've been worried about since the beginning. I've literally had nightmares about this. I've been really scared and concerned. Did we unlock the secret story? Yes, we unlocked the secret episode. All right, thankfully everything worked out and we unlocked everything. Can we actually beat the secret story? The reason I overprepared is because you can't leave the realm of darkness. The toolkit I have right now has to be enough to beat the Heartless and one of the hardest bosses in the entire game, Darkhide. Uh, my damage is actually really good here. 
I took a lot of damage though. Like one one attack, I think, put me at a one HP. Almost. Wait, I'm pissed. God damn it, I fell. Oh, we're meant to go this way. Fire wheel is like the best way of fighting these guys and then using blade charge. I'm worried about falling off though, plus ratio. Or else I might die. Dude, I'm mad. What in the fuck? I'm gonna ban somebody. Raise your hands if you want to get banned. I'm pissed. I can't do it. The hardest part is this room. Oh yeah, we have Master's Defender. Seven strength and seven magic. Plus two strength, actually. The finisher kind of sucks. I don't like it. Wait, I fell. Here I found yet another experience exploit. This fight has a ton of Heartless that give a ton of EXP. It's really easy to farm experience here before Dark Hide by dying and retrying. This would be good. Oh my god. We're shredding. Oh my god, 39. Okay, we're almost level 40. Yeah, <laughs> this is like the best place to like grind for Aqua. But it's like at the worst part of the game to do it. Oh, there's 41. Just in time. Okay, I think this is the ending actually. Okay, we got him all. And I think we can beat Dark Knight at level 41. This is it, the final boss. And we've made it here without ever equipping a command. Okay, now here's the problem. Can I beat him without having level four cartwheel? That's something I might need. Like, actually, and I'm already gonna die. No, wait, can you not Sherlock him here? Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, wait. Okay, that did a lot of damage, actually. That's good. I know, like, nothing about this fight. I've only fought him by spamming Ignite. Fuck. This is the final hurdle. Okay, Fire Wheel. Wait, Fire Wheel does damage to him. That's that's good, at least. Ow. I can't guard that, can I? Fuck. I don't know what I can or can't guard. I have no idea. Okay, that didn't actually... That didn't one-shot me. Fuck. No. Okay, that got me. No, that kills you. Dude, I'm fucked. Okay. I can't get my shot lock off at all. There we go. Wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, it was like a one-shot. Okay. I do kind of know this pattern. Shit. Oh my god, the camera! What the fuck is happening? Help! Oh shit. Okay, that sucks. That was close. Okay, literally, you just need to get one more shot lock. Wait, why is it still going? Wait, what? It's kind of weird. Oh shit, what the fuck? GG. I'm so dead here. Okay, I'm not dead yet. Man, I couldn't guard in time. No! It's just... Okay. No! What the fuck was that? I'm pissed. I'm mad. Did you just- okay. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, not only did you call him Dark Throne, but he's not even Dark Thorn. This is fucking Dark Hide. That's from Kingdom Hearts 2, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought I dodged it for a second. I'm pissed. Anyone else? I'm pissed. That attack is like impossible. I'm trying to just like do a physical combat with him now. Like just attacking him like this. Okay. Okay. Last phase. Hang on. I have blade charge. So maybe if I use it here. Oh my god, he has two bars left. Oh my god, wait. I got him. Oh, we did it. We did it. We beat the whole game. The entire game without ever equipping a single command at all. It's over. Oh my god, what is this? Birth by Sleep 2? Oh yeah, so we did it without a single D-Link. Huge shout out to Pestilist for giving me tips and helping me throughout the entire run.